I'm sure you've heard about SaaS before, right? You've probably seen all of these guys exiting for millions of dollars or racking up tens of thousands of dollars in monthly recurring revenue. And you've probably been wondering to yourself, is this something that's possible for me? The truth is, is it's actually a lot easier than you think. You see, you're only one good idea away from being able to go and build your minimum viable product, start working towards getting your software to replace the income that you're making otherwise, whether it's from your job, another business, etc. And then you're only one exit away from potentially life changing money. And I've personally witnessed over the last couple of years, some of the biggest players in the space, like your Iman Godzi, your Alex Becker, Jordan Welch, I've seen them all transition away from what they were doing towards software. And so here is how you can capitalize on what is, in my opinion, one of the biggest opportunities there is right now. So how do you take advantage? In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from zero to actually starting to make your first money online with your software as a service. No shallow or garbage advice. I will be showing you step by step how to do exactly what I have actually done. I have actually sold two companies that were built without code, both of them being Closeify and Trackify, and I'm also a partner in another software company. So you can rest assured you're learning from someone who's actually done what I'm preaching. So now you're probably wondering how and where do I even start? So now let me break this down step by step for you and we'll start with phase one. So first you need to come up with your SaaS idea. So here's the strategy that I like to use now to come up with ideas. I'll go over to acquire.com and I will filter to software companies that are over $200,000 in annual recurring revenue. This shows me that they're one making money, which means they probably have product market fit and they're probably validated. And I will go and I'll look at these software companies and so I'll find one, for example, one that I did recently was I found a power dialer. And so I've personally used a power dialer before. It's basically what sales teams use to complete their cold calls. And I will search in Google, um, like I'll find a power dialer, like AirCall, for example, and I'll search AirCall or power dialer G2 reviews. And so I'll go to this reviews website, G2, and I will scroll and look at what people don't like. And I'll look for recurring problems, recurring complaints, or recurring feature requests that these people have. And then that's how I'm going to differentiate myself when I go and build my version. So how do we validate our idea once we have it is we wanna make sure it's sticky. And what does that mean? How sticky it is, is how much someone needs it uh, basically to run their business if they're B2B. So for example, a good example is instantly.ai. It's an email sending platform. I use it personally and it's super sticky. Like it doesn't matter what the economy is doing. I'm not going to stop sending cold emails for my business. So I will never churn or I'll never stop paying this software subscription because I need it. It's a very sticky um, software. And so another way to validate it is do you have competitors and you want to have competitors because again that shows you that the idea is validated you want to look at how big the total addressable market is like how much potential does this idea have is it something that can be really really big like you can sell it to anyone with the sales team or is it something like really small are you only selling to like you know like contractors um or like you know people that install windows like a really small niche and that doesn't mean it can't work. You just need to understand the potential that your idea will have going into it. This is your foundation. With a bad idea, you can do everything right and you can still fail. But with a good idea and everything in the rest of this video will take care of itself. You need to sell something that actually benefits people and something that people actually need. And so I actually send an email daily to my newsletter list every single day and I'll send you guys ideas that I find. I'll give you tips on growing your company, you know, all these different things. So if you're interested in getting free daily emails from me the link will be in the description you can go ahead and sign up to that with that being said let's go on and move to phase two now for the juicy part we have to build your mvp or your minimum viable product so this is the first iteration of your software so it's not going to be perfect it's not going to be the end all be all but it's the first thing that you put out to get your first customers so there's a few different routes that we can take here so first of all you can build it yourself or you can hire a no code dev agency to build it for you. And so it's all gonna depend on how technical you are and how big of a budget you have. If you're like myself, I'm not technical at all. It's kind of funny, I make my money online, but I'm horrible with technology. And so if I had to build it by myself, the only platforms that I'll be able to use just because of how technical I am is softer.io. And softer is an amazing platform. I actually built a no code software company with softer and OpenAI's API. And I'll do another video on that. But um, it's very easy to use, very affordable. I'll put the link in the description to sign up. 
And so if you're not technical and you're on a low budget, I would look to start building it on softer. Now, maybe you're a really technical person. Maybe you, you know, learn how to code custom stack. You'll be able to pick up something really quickly like bubble.io. So bubble is actually what my two companies that I sold were built on. And it is technical. It is a steep learning curve. I don't know how to do it. Um, so I paid a developer to build mine on bubble. But if you have a budget for, it, you know, about five to like 15 grand then you can build on bubble and pay a dev agency to build it for you on bubble and then there's a bunch of other great builders out there like make.com there's flutterflow so there's a lot of you know there's zapier there's a lot of really cool no code tools that you can use and it all just depends how technical you are and how big of a budget you are but if you have the budget i would encourage you to start with bubble because it is the best builder by far so this is the validation process this is going to let us know how good our product is what changes we might need to make based off feedback and if we're ready to scale it or not if you guys want me to do a completely separate video just on marketing alone let me know but to keep this video to the point let's just keep this simple right now so the best way to start getting your first few customers and doing it on a budget is going to be outbound methods which means you are going to be reaching out to people that you do not know if they're interested or not so you can do this on multiple different platforms you can do this on twitter and you can automate it with softwares like contact bird you can do it on linkedin and you can automate it with expandy um, and another thing that I've been liking to do a lot recently is to go into Facebook groups. So say, you know, you're targeting real estate agents and you join Facebook groups full of real estate agents. And what you're going to do is you're going to post very valuable posts. And the caveat is you are going to plug your software in the middle of the post as a means to implement the information. So say you built like a CRM for real estate agents and you were saying like, here's how to like, you know, double your conversion rate by using, you know, X, Y, and Z method. And you plug your CRM that you built for them in the middle of the post as a means to carry out the information that you're teaching them. This is a really, really, really effective way to get your first customers. I actually did this for an AI LinkedIn post generator that I built and I got my first customer using this method. Once you start getting your first few customers, you're going to learn pretty quickly if your product is good enough to scale or not. You're going to see if people churn after the first month or if they convert from your free trials. And then basically you either need to scale or go back to step one and do more research, more validation and make a tweak to your product. Scaling is a complicated process, but in my experience, once you have a validated product, there's a lot of different ways you can go about it. So what I personally did is I basically just upped the volume of all the outbound that I was doing. So instead of me alone doing the outbound, I went and I hired armies of salespeople to do it for me. So I started sending 15,000 cold emails per month. We had five plus sales reps all sending 20 plus DMs on LinkedIn per day. We had people going through Facebook groups. We had search engine optimization going. We hired an agency to do that. We dabbled with ads for a little bit. So scaling is a very uh, complex topic that would also have to be a separate video. If you guys really want me to go into that, you know, obviously you need to have the budget to be able to scale as well. So there's a time and place for that. But let me know when you guys want a separate video on that. If you follow these steps and you stay persistent, you can go from zero to actually owning a software company that brings you a monthly income and that you can also actually, you're building a sellable asset that you can actually exit one day. Most people right after this video are gonna go back to watching other videos or scrolling on their phone. So don't be one of those people. Taking action on this information can and will make a huge impact on your business if you follow it. And again, guys, I send a daily email on all these other strategies of how to get ideas, how to build your MVP, how to scale, daily emails for free directly into your inbox. So that's all guys, good luck, I'm out.